Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to discuss how to deal with family members who tell you to get over your twin flame. Before I answer that, I wanna let you know um, about our winter solstice special. This is our most popular special that we do every year. We have, even throughout the rest of the year, people asking you know, if we could do it at any other time during the year, and we don't. This is the fourth annual winter solstice special that we're having. Um, it's 40% off the process, do-it-yourself system. You can, click, you can click the link below this video in order to get instant downloads to that. Um, the process are my original teachings written out in three different PDFs. Um, they, the first PDF um, is called Book One, Align. The second PDF is called Book Two, Balance. And the third one is called Book Three, Maintain. And they teach you all of those things, how to align closer to your soul, how to balance out your fear-based push energy, and then how to maintain that balance once you magnetize in your twin flame after having done the work of the first two PDFs and um, how to maintain that as you continue to interact with your twin flame. Um, truth is truth. This is the exact same truth that we built all of our coaching programs on in the twin flame um, um, brand of our company. And actually the Master of Ascension Alchemy um, program is, you know, basic truths, not the twin flame parts, but, you know, other basic truths of the Ascension process, which, um, you know, truth is truth. It's indiscriminate across the board or also that's what we base that coaching program on as well. And, um, you know, truth is truth. And um, as you resonate to the degree that you resonate determines the degree and um, how the timing of, you know, when you're going to be able to be, have, have and maintain a physical relating experience with your twin flame. And so um, we've had people just by um, doing the process, do it yourself system who have married their twin flames um, or, or at least living with their twin flames now. Um, and, you know, so it's not like just because this isn't a coaching program, it doesn't mean it won't work for you. So um, if you want to try it out, if you've always been interested, now is the time. It is 40% off. So definitely click the link below this video. You also get free membership in the Process Members Club Facebook group. So um, once you do purchase the instant downloads of the Process Do It Yourself system, send a screenshot of your receipt to um, Messenger to the Process Facebook page. It's called the Process and it's a Facebook page. Send in a PM a message to that with a screenshot of your receipt of having purchased the Process Do It Yourself system um, along with your name. And um, we will then be able to send you to an invite to the Process Members Club on Facebook. Um, and it's a Facebook group. So um, yeah, definitely do that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it runs through Monday, the winter solstice. December 21st at 1159 p.m. Eastern time. Once that comes, it is gone for until next year. This is our most popular, popular special we do all year, so you don't wanna miss out. Okay, um, so back to the question. Um, what to do when your family members tell you to get over the twin flame? Um, you know, really, it doesn't matter what you do or say to the family members, honestly, because, I mean, really, um, you, it's coming in for a reason. And that is so that you can um, see your own reaction to it. And then um, really, really put yourself first. Lo and it's all about loving yourself. And it's about establishing boundaries. Loving yourself is about establishing boundaries and what you will or will not tolerate or put up with. Obviously, you know, if you watch our videos at all, that um, you cannot get over your twin flame. Your twin flame is you. You are your twin flame. So if your family members are like telling you to move on, get over it, whatever, then first of all, you don't even want to engage with them about your twin flame. You, first of all, you shouldn't be talking to anyone about your twin flame or twin flame journey anyway, period. If you notice, um, I rarely discuss mine. I mean, I don't even discuss mine. I, I mean, I've, I've said as little as I possibly could in the act of um, any of my videos ever. All of my coaches, all of my students, everyone, I mean, that's the first rule that I was told by my teacher, Leora. That's the first rule I, I teach everyone that, that learns from me is that you do not discuss your journey, your twin flame, your journey, anything with anyone else. All that's doing is feeding your fear-based push energy. And it's also not, it's also like gossiping about yourself. This is the most sacred journey. The most sacred bond there is, is between you and your soul, which is your twin flame. So to discuss it with anyone cheapens it. It lowers that sanctity. It's like gossiping about yourself. Um, 
And who the hell would do that with something that is so divinely perfect and sacred? Doing that just, just cheapens the whole, I mean, sanctity of this entire, your entire beingness. And that is definitely not loving yourself. And remember, this journey is about self-love. And you have to love yourself in order for your twin flame to be able to show that love back to you. Because loving yourself is loving your twin flame. Because your twin flame is yourself. Right? See how that works? So um, to degrade it, to disgrace it, to gossip about it is, is just doing the opposite of what you need to do. And it feeds your fear-based push energy, which also does the opposite of what you need to do. So, I mean, right there, first of all, first point, do not discuss your twin flame with anyone, including family members. Secondly, it doesn't matter what anyone else says or thinks or does. I mean, what anyone thinks is their own issue and problem and their responsibility. You, it has nothing to do with you. I once saw this um, quote once, and I forget who said it, but, you know, I think it was Buddha. But um, it's basically like, um, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember it exactly, but it basically is, is about, um, it goes, um, not caring about what other people think is where you find, like, your greatest freedom or something like that. But, you know, that's exactly true. You're, you could be truly free when you finally realize that, you don't give a shit what other people think. It's not your problem what other people think. I mean, it's not your problem to please other people. I mean, it's not your problem to even sit there and take it or listen to other people. You don't have to. I mean, if you don't like what's going on around you, if you don't like what other people are doing, saying, thinking, feeling, if you feel like they're being um, abusive to you in some way and telling you to get over someone when, um, you know, that's you and they don't know it's you, but I mean, still, I mean, even if they didn't know it was you, it was just another person. What? I mean, it's no one can tell anyone to get over anything, right? That's not up to them. And, you know, so the best thing to do there, if they're family, I'm assuming you, you, you want to maintain the relationship and you want to communicate with them. But the best thing to do there is to not engage with them over any of it. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's not even worth it. It's not their business. Um, it's not your business what they think. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just... It doesn't matter what anyone thinks it, at all. I mean, it's just, it's about anything, not even just the twin flame, twin flame journey. This is something to know for life. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks about you. Caring what other people think is all fear-based push energy anyway. Um, it stems from the, the fear of rejection and it's your fear-based push energy constantly seeking approval and acceptance. And so that's all fear-based energy. And, you know, you don't need that from anyone else. Remember, you are enough. You are perfect. You are whole. You are complete. You are enough. You don't need outside approval of anything that you do because you are perfect. <laughs> so, um, you know, just tune it out. Tune it out. Do not engage. I mean, don't even bother telling them to shut up. Just don't engage. Don't go around there. Change the subject. Stop communicating with them. Only communicate with them about topics that you want to communicate with them with. And again, you should, that should, one of those topics should never be the twin flame. Um, but here's something interesting, okay? And this might sound harsh or whatever, but believe me, once you stop engaging, they will stop bringing it up. Because here's how it works. The reason why anyone brings up anything to anyone else is because everyone is living in their fear-based push pull energy with everyone, right? And fear-based push pull energy is reactive. It's a reactive energy. So what happens is everyone's reacting to everyone else's reactions to everyone's other's reactions, right? It, it, no one's even being true or real or authentic about anything. So the reason why they do this, though, is because there's a subconscious payoff involved. When people react to other people with their fear based, the fear is dancing with their other people's fear and intermingling and it's all fear based energy mingling. If you could see it like on the energetic level, it looks like a big matrix, like a spider web of just everyone's fear-based energy reacting to everyone else's fear-based energy on the, on the planet. That's what's going on. And so, um, and of course no one knows this, but you know, as they're doing that, why do they want to keep reacting and keep reacting? Even with drama, there's so many people just, everyone wants to complain about drama, but they all thrive and love drama. Why? Because it's giving them a subconscious payoff. Even when things are nasty and it's drama and they feel awful, that's a subconscious payoff. Why does misery love company? Because it's a subconscious payoff for all involved, right? 
it's a subconscious payoff. So if, and as long as you feed that payoff, as long as your fear-based energy is reacting to their fear-based energy and everything, every energy they put out there is fear-based energy, then you're, but you're feeding, you're giving them the subconscious payoff and they're giving you this, you're, they're feeding your fear-based energy. So if you just stop engaging and don't allow your fear-based energy to react to theirs, guess what? Their fear-based energy doesn't know what to do anymore. And they're like, what? And all of a sudden then they're going to stop because they're no longer receiving that subconscious payoff. Now, they don't know any of this is happening. Nobody knows this is going on, right? You know this because you're on this journey and you're watching this video, but most people out there, they have no idea that this is what's going on out there, but that's exactly what's going on. Um, obviously, once they all hit their twin flame journeys in this lifetime or the next or whatever in their ascension process, um, they will become aware of it, you know, of course, but right now they don't know. So, I mean, it's not even worth it explaining anything of this to them. You don't, don't even bother. Just stop engaging about whatever topic they want to bring up that you feel, um, you know, you don't want to discuss or you don't like what they're saying. Um, and that includes the twin flame or anything else. You don't, don't engage with people over things that are just, you know, going to feed your fear-based energy and then theirs. Just stop it. Cut it off. You, you're, you need to take charge. You're in control of your own fear-based energy. So don't allow your fear-based energy to react to theirs. Then that stops the reactionary chain that keeps going on between everyone and everyone else. And then when that happens, they don't get their subconscious payoff. And then they stop. Watch. They'll just stop. Eventually, they will stop even bringing it up because it, it doesn't suit, it doesn't serve them anymore to do it because they're no longer getting the awesome feeling of bringing it up and antagonizing you about it, right? And again, this is subconscious. They don't realize they're getting the payoff, but they are. Um, and then eventually, once you um, you do the aligning work, the energy work, you balance out your fear-based push energy regarding your twin flame, and you and your twin flame are maintaining a physical relating experience without any fear, which is, you know, how the only way you can maintain a physical relating experience for any length of time or quality with your twin flame, um, then, then, um, your family members, and I know I've been here, many of our students and most of our students have been here, um, family members, friends, whoever else has, you know, doesn't, you know, think fondly of your twin flame right now. They just, um, I mean, first of all, you don't even care what they think, but you'll, you'll see, you'll see, they'll just open up and, and welcome your twin flame. And if they don't, oh, well, but most of them will, they will, because they'll sense the energy you and your twin flame, when you're relating together without fear is, is amazing. It's beautiful. It's not experienced by anyone else. It cannot be experienced by anyone else on this planet yet. We're not there yet on the level of human consciousness. It can only be experienced between two twin flames at this point. That's it. So once and when you are relating with each other and remember the energetic space that you share has is fearless, total fearlessness. Remember, everyone else is in total fear. So the fearlessness that you share when it's when it's experienced and kind of picked up on by other people, even though they're not in that energetic space, they see it and they'll start to subconsciously, you know, realize that your energy and your twin flames energy is, is the same or similar, right? And they'll start to realize that, um, you know, you guys are just so in sync and it's so just beautiful. And it almost, it's almost like um, a glowing, I wanna say, I don't know. Um, I've had people say that, my twin flame and I glow, you know, when we walk, uh, when we're together in a room, like they're just like, there's, and, you know, they don't know anything about the twin flame. They don't, they don't know. I mean, I haven't, <laughs> they have no idea about this, but they, you know, we've had comments like that. So, um, I know that other people pick up on it. And even with, um, you know, family members, they just, you know, when you don't engage, they just give up. And then, you know, either they have no choice but to accept it or to just never even like relate with you again. <laughs> and I mean, if they choose that, that's on them too. It's not on you. Right. So, you know, don't engage. Don't engage with anyone who doesn't deserve to be engaged with. And really, you don't want to engage with anyone because it's fear-based energy. Um, in the fear-based energy, um, you know, energetic way. In other words, you don't want to react to other people. You know this. Therefore, it's your responsibility for yourself to take charge of whether or not you're going to react to people, whether or not you're going to engage with people, whether or not you're going to be concerned with bullshit 
people like, you know, approval or acceptance or trying to get that. You don't need it. You're full, you're whole, you're complete, you're perfect. All with you. You don't need anything or anyone else outside of you to validate that or not, or to provide you with anything else. By the way, that includes your twin flame. And that's the energetic space you must be in regarding the twin flame in order for the twin flame to actually be there physically. But anyway, um, I hope this helped answer that question. I know the holidays, people are going to be around a lot of family members and stuff. And, um, you know, I hope this helps you get through that a little bit. Uh, and remember, click the link below this video um, if you would like to learn how to do all the aligning and balancing and shifting and maintaining of that balance when you relate with your twin flame that I just spoke about in this video. You can get the process, do-it-yourself system for 40% off only through Monday, December 21st at 11.59 p.m., which is the winter solstice. That's why it's the winter solstice special, guys. Have a great day and lots of love.